good morning and welcome to Homebrew Wednesday number three. I think I've got the hang of this now. I've um, found a new app I'm using to upload my videos. Uh, if you didn't know, I shoot all my videos, edit all my videos on my iPhone. Um, and if you listen to Homebrew Wednesday 2.5, I was struggling to get videos to upload. I was using the YouTube app, YouTube Creator. Uh, upload studio there was loads but I found one that works I'll put if I remember I'll put a link to it in the description below so I'm pretty confident this is going to upload um, it's a nice beautiful Saturday morning beautiful ish there is a sun out behind, behind the cloud up just up there there we are anyway wife's popped out kids are upstairs watching some telly I thought oh I, want, I wanted to get a bit of beer in stock, so I thought I'll, I'll get a brew on. And um, I've quickly set up outside my beer system. Hopefully it doesn't, I mean my brewery, hopefully it doesn't rain. Um, but I've just remembered I haven't actually shown you my completed or working control panel. So, give me, let me give you a twizzle. Right, and here she is. At the minute, it's just plugged in via a 13 amp socket. Um, so I do have to be careful as to how much load I'm running on. Eventually it's going to be wall mounted um, with a 32 amp supply which will allow me to run multiple uh, burners at the same, um, heating elements at the same time. Um, but yeah, it's the same electronics box that I showed you before. I've finished drilling all the holes. There's a, I've wrapped it in black vinyl just to neaten up a bit from all the scratches. First of all, I've got a big isolator on the side, so obviously my 32 amp supply will come in there and I can kill the whole system. On the other side, I have got outputs for thermocouples, pumps, and two outputs for heating elements. And on the front, I have got, let me just see, there we are. I've got a PID, which is on for the HLT, uh, a PID for the boiler. I've got my oven control profiler, which you can, if I can, if I can show you in this light, oh there we are, which hopefully I can use for doing my stepped mashes etc once I've got it all working, um, and I've got various buttons, switches and a timer at the bottom. At the moment I'm not really, I'm going to put some more controls in for the timer, it's just in. I've got control for a couple of pumps. I've got the control for the internal fan. At the moment, this is actually linked into the timer. And because I've got two basic outputs, one for my HLT, one for my boiler, these correspond to these switches here. And this basically allows, this is my HLT element output, this one. Basically from turning this here, it's now, the HLT relay is now being powered by the PID. If I change it to here, it's now run from this controller or the elements off and the same on this side so I can run the boiler off the PID or off or off the controller um, on top I've mounted a couple of fans and underneath I can show you uh, yeah it's all open at the bottom I've basically put like a, a wire mesh wire, a drilled steel plate uh, let me show you inside. Ignore the noise of fan. Just, just oh, there's a that's it, a cable tie catching on the fan. So the usual spaghetti junction inside the door. All the various wiring. I've still got to finish off the thermocouple connection to the um, to the oven controller. I'm basically waiting for a mini. Uh, a mini type K connector which I didn't have which needs to go in there um, as for the main unit starting at the top again I've got my two let me see if I can get some to show you this yeah I've got my two fans up at the top which are blowing upwards so they're sucking air through the unit I've then got PI um, solid state state relays either side this one for the HRT this one for the boil kettle. That's just the light control wire sticking up the top. I was wondering if it's quite light, but you can see the heavy stuff underneath. Coming down, 
The mains power comes in to an RCD. The RCD then has got various MCBs next to it to, to um, provide fuse braking for each of the circuits. Um, I've basically got two which are my supplies going to my solid state relays and out to the kettle and the HLT. And I've got a six amp supply um, for running the PIDs and a six volt supply running a 12 volt power supply. Right, so everything that's in the door, apart from the power supply to the two PIDs, everything is 12 volt to keep it safe. Um, so 12 volt comes from this power supply here. This also runs the two pumps that I run on the on my brew setup. Um, the pumps, fan, and the fans on top are also 12 volts. They run through these three automotive relays. Then I've got some 12 volt, three amp fuses for everything down here. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. So I'll just give you a little look around. Oh, there's a neutral distribution bar there for all my neutrals. But you could sort of get the idea. Like so. So it's still work in progress, but it is now, it's up and running. At the moment, I carefully close this over. Um, I'm just setting up to do a brew today, so I've got a set point at the moment on there of 75. It's more, I just want to get the water warmed up in the HLT while I go and do a few jobs around the house. And hopefully, I'll come back to you in a bit and um, show you various bits and bobs during today's brew. Right, <clears throat> the water's just hit the strike temperature, so I'm now just mashing in. Here we are. I've got, uh, what have I got in here? I have got 4.6 kilos of Maris Otter. I have got uh, 100 grams of aromatic malt. And I have got, uh, what have I got, what have I got, 400 grams of Vienna malt. And the plan is to do a 90 minute mash at 60 degrees. I'm just underletting at the moment, out here, around, and in at the moment. Um, I'm now running a um, HL, oh, sorry, a Herms coil in my HLT. See it in there. Um, so I'm going to recirculate the mash and um, hopefully it clears out lovely. I've had quite a few good results with this so far. Um, I'll, I'll give you an update when I'm um, recirculating. Right, right, just wanted to show you recirculating at the moment, just recirculating on top of this piece of tinfoil. And I'll show you how clear this beer is running. It is absolutely. Crystal clear. I'm just saying, recycling it on top of this foil um, just to stop disturbing the grain bed. And there right. we go. Right, just finished the mash and I'm just barging and running off into the boil kettle. So I'm going to show you here. There we are. Right, uh, I guess the next update will be a hop drop. Whoops. Forgot to take more footage. Got too excited. I will show you. We have here result of beer. We have just under 20 litres, and now we have here mash ton with cocoa. Cocoa, what's this? Any good? Cocoa's just checking out the grain bill. What do you say? Hello. Happy Henry Wednesday. Oi, who's, whose name is on the brew dog bottles? Uh, your name. Ink and mine. Yeah. But at least it's not spelled What do you say? Happy Henry Wednesday number three. Well, it isn't even Wednesday. No, but it's going to go on YouTube. Say hello to people on YouTube. Hello. And say, YouTube. say happy Henry Wednesday number. Happy, happy Henry Wednesday is number three. There we go, people. Anyway, I'm going to call it a wrap for now. Just lit a bonfire in the back garden, as you can see. 
Just sunt it. Ooh. <laughs> Before I forget, my next videos, this is scary, I'm promising before I'm actually able to do. I'm gonna head down in the cellar, the cellar of doom. There's the lights on. Oh, just on it. Right. My next video is going to be in a foreign land. I'm half Scottish and we're going to Aberdeen to visit Brew Dog. Some of you might know, some of you don't know, some of you do. I'm a BrewDog shareholder. So, I'm gonna visit the AGM and have a little bit of a party. I'm, I'm gonna record a little homebrew Wednesday when I'm there, even though it's gonna be a weekend. Welcome to my cellar. I look like Thrifty Brewer downstairs with the beams and stuff. Anyway, we're working on the, on the cellar. The cellar of doom will soon be the brewery. We've got a lot of insulation here though. Um, anyway, next week's Hambury Wednesday is going to be from Aberdeen, from the conference centre, and I've got a tour of the brewery coming up, so I'm going to get some pictures, some videos of you guys. The Hop Cannon, the new brewery that I've just broken ground on, 300 hectolitres, it beats my little setup. Speak to you all next week, and the Smash reviews are coming up. Woohoo!